hopefully this isn't what happens when you leave your van here. We are on a mission to visit nine countries in nine months, and we're taking you along to every new city we visit. But it's not always easy. We've got to get this bad boy back to the van. Can you guess what it is? That was super scary. I felt like I was going to drop it the whole time. Because when your tiny home on wheels is your office, your full-time travel mobile, and your house, it needs to be connected to the internet, which is hard to find. Does that make you happy? Yeah, it makes me very happy. That's freaking wild. Click subscribe and let's go on an FNA mission to find our Starlink in Mexico. The streets get wild out here. We got to Lyon last night and we were excited to spend a couple of days here. So I posted on Instagram and was like, hey, what should we do in Lyon? And we got some interesting responses. They're known for their nightlife, but I wouldn't go out into their nightlife. Another response was that there's three drug cartels fighting for dominance in the area and the United States just announced that they weren't going to be releasing a drug lord into piss I don't know what the heck is happening there. I don't keep up on my drug lord news, but something just came out and it is going to apparently upset some people. So we definitely don't want to be somewhere where upset drug gang members are upset. On a good note, they have a baseball team here as well as a so soccer stadium or a football stadium. Uh, so you could definitely go to a game, catch a game while you're here. Mm, but for us, I think we're just going to head on to the next place. We did spend one night here in their amazing, beautiful Metropolitan Park. There's a giant lake. I went for a run this morning. It's beautiful. There's tons of families and kids and everybody's just enjoying the day. But we figure we might as well be in the safe place. And if the only thing to do around here at night is go out and party, that's not really our scene. This park is our scene though. Instead, we're gonna head to Guanajuato where a very special friend is holding on to a very special package for us. Huge shout out to Ellen for hooking us up. Now it's time for us to get out of this crazy city before we can get there. We've just rolled into Guanajuato. It is so cute. I always find it so interesting when we come into these new towns, how they're structurally different, but still like somehow similar in some type of way to like the Mexican design. Mm -hmm. But this town has definitely been built into the giant mountains that surround it. Very unique and beautiful. It does look like a concrete jungle where we are at the moment. <laughs> but like a beautiful one. All of the houses are painted in beautiful colors. I like the vibe it here. It almost feels like that we went to Europe. You know? I liked it a little bit better than Leon. Sometimes you gotta catch the vibe and Get trust your vibe. gut. <laughs> so we just been let down an area that nobody else has been allowed down, which is actually really cool because we're having an opportunity to kind of drive through the whole middle, the center of the town. Is that Avril Lavigne I'm here? Yeah, it is. <laughs> See, we can't go through there though. No, 2.6. 2.6 might be pushing it. Uh -oh. It's okay, we'll make it. Are we supposed to go in that tunnel? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, it says Tunnel A, Luan, uh, whatever. Mm. But there's a way out. Make it through 2.6 meters, but three would be like super safe. Yeah. yeah. Our friend who we're going to meet was basically like, let me know when you find somewhere to park and we'll uh, figure out how to meet up. Because <laughs> that I think is gonna be the tricky thing. This is very much a walking town. All of the streets and buildings were made before there was cars, which is kind of nice. So it's very much park your car somewhere and then wander into downtown. Okay, so the parking situation up here is nuts. There's a statue right over there that I guess is very popular. I feel like it would probably be good to come not on a Saturday, not in the middle of the day, to try to find a parking spot. So there is a guy directing traffic, not very official, but I'm sure we're gonna give him a tip. So basically they came over and was like, there's no parking over here, there's no parking over here. And there's really not, we're on a super duper angle. Ah, see, I'm not, we're not gonna fit here. No? No, nah, there's a sign behind us. We're on a super angle, which I don't love. And uh, 
Yeah, so we're gonna turn around. This is stressful for me, but luckily Frank doesn't find it that bad. Good thing he's the one who's driving. Just knocking Paco out. You wanna give him a little cash? Yeah, let me get a... He's gonna find a spot for us, I think. We found a parking spot right here, but hopefully this isn't what happens when you leave your van here. This is the reason why we gave guys pesos. Is it a T1N? Yeah, it's an old T1N. Hopefully that Lolo. It's a 3500. Dang. It's a dually. The old Lolo. Oof. These kind of places just make me smile. I don't know what it is. Like, even though you can tell it's very populated and there's tons of people, it's just one of those things that's just like, wow. What a feat, what an accomplishment to be able to build like this and make it look so cute. It looks like a, like a scene that you would see painted in the storybook. Yep. And you can see they definitely cleared out some like trees and stuff, but this is like a valley in the mountain. So now we gotta get into that madness. When you're up here and you're checking out the area, you're gonna hear a lot of music and you're also gonna see a lot of vendors. So feel free to take your choice of whatever you like and grab what you wanna eat. Or the souvenirs, perhaps. It is most likely going to start raining too. I'm getting a little bit splashed, you know. <laughs> this but way? this is complicated. This way. You just keep following the stairs down. Go, buddy. It's definitely on like a downhill slant, the stairs. So it's great on the way down, but I feel like the way up is gonna burn the glute. Look how pretty though. Stopped in for a quick bite, and ended up with the sandwich as big as my face. So we were just gonna eat some food and take off, but then we ended up in a two hour conversation with some folks, and they were very awesome. nice. So Ooh, thank sorry. you guys for your company, and thank you for taking care of the pill too. We <laughs> really appreciate it. So now and we're finally gonna go meet with the person that yes. we've come to yes. Guanajuato to see. We just picked up a rola canila cinnamon bun. We got very distracted, but now we're actually gonna go where we're going. Yeah, it's a, a vegan one, so vegan we're really happy. Cinnamon. I was like, oh my god, we have to stop. And he said, super bien, so <laughs> muy bien, very good. Thank you so much. Bye. Well, you got a big box there. I got a big box. We're gonna take the tram up to the top because it's starting to get late and I don't want to miss our ride. Reggie and Jane were so sweet. Thank you, Ellen, for hooking us up with them. We are super grateful and we're probably gonna take them out for a nice coffee or something to thank them later this week. For now, we've got to get this bad boy back to the van and get it set up. Can you guess what it is? Alex and I are gonna be breathing heavy. The tram is not dog friendly. No. So we're making the 400 foot hike up, up the to the top. Was it feet or meters? I don't know, I thought we were 400 meters away. Oh, that's a lot. But it's straight uphill. So. It's like a thousand feet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind <laughs> burning off those cookies I ate. Holy cajolies. Oh yeah. We got back to the van. It's raining. Can you hear it? Three good things about that. One, we made it back before the rain. Two, the rain has driven off some of the very loud vehicles parked next to us. And three, it's a great time to have a shower because we can just let the water drain and nobody will know. And it don't matter. Especially Are you excited? I'm excited. One bad thing about the rain, we can't set up our new toys, so we're gonna have to wait on that till tomorrow, but we're just building the suspense. Let's shower. My bid is to fill up all the water, to take out the machine, set it all up, get it running, make sure it's running good, and then shower Alex first, and then allow him <laughs> to shower me. That sounds pretty straightforward. We don't need the bucket. Yeah, yeah, we have a special jug that we've been using down here in Baja that we fill in Baja, up. We're in mainland now. Oh my goodness, in Mexico that we fill up um, with city water or whatever water that we can find. One of these jugs is basically one shower for both of us. And then it's easy to just fill that up really quickly. Fresh water, it's just not drinking water. So we can fill it up from a lake or a river. We've been using city water and it's ready to go. 
If you guys haven't seen our van tour, we have our shower set up over here. This is our Mr. Buddy hot water system, and we just use the handle from that to shower in the shower. Super simple. Because we have the hideaway shower, it's a little bit more work to get it set up, and it's a little bit more work to like put everything away and get it clean. But for us, the trade-off is that we use the shower maybe once a month because we're showering other places a lot more than we're showering in the van. When we have a river nearby or a lake nearby and there's more opportunity to shower, we use it a lot more often. When we're in cities and there's kind of bathrooms and showers nearby, that's when we will utilize the facilities that are near us. <sighs> that was so good! I feel amazing. Good morning, little buddy. Frankie is outside helping a guy push his car. I don't know. The disaster from the shower last night, we literally just like showered and then like crashed out. So we gotta do a big tidy and then we're gonna finally set up our brand new toy. The fireworks have already started this morning, so apparently it's the church that sets them off. I don't know, in some kind of like prayer or like a festival is happening or something, but Paco really doesn't like it. He's hiding under the bed. Come here, Bubba. Come on. Poor guy, he's so scared. He was like full on panicking yesterday, so hopefully today's a little better. We got up this morning, look out the window and see a guy struggling, so I decided to try to help him out. We tried push starting his car because the starter isn't working and uh, it would like start to start up and then it would die. I try to help, you know, that's all I could do. Come, come. <laughs> Go away. Bum, ba, da, da. We got Starling. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. It is a lot of box. Ooh, amount. Holy moly. I don't think this will make it into the house. <laughs> which is a lot shorter of a line. Yeah. The unit's not huge, which is nice. This is actually super light. Yeah? I think our plan for right now is to mount the bracket to the roof, and then every time we want to use the Starlink, we're going to take it out and set it up. Because if we have the actual antenna on the roof, it's going to make us like 11 feet tall, and we don't necessarily want that. It's pretty tall. It's like the length of my arm. Hola, amigo. Uno momento, uh, espanol, um, solo espanol un poco. You need a jump. Maybe I try that battery thing first. Okay. Because why take our car out of the spot if uh, it's not necessary? They need a jump. Yeah, he needs a jump. It's the same guy that we were trying to push start. All right, just me and the Starlink. Get acquainted. Certainly sounds like his engine is working now. How'd it go? It went great. Uh, this little guy right here, this is a blessing to have. And it's the track life. And pretty much what it does is it acts as a battery starter um, when you're in the middle of nowhere and you don't have somebody to jump you, you jump yourself with this. So the whole time that we were being jumped by other people, we could have been jumping ourselves. <laughs> but it's more fun when you have other people jump you. Uh, <laughs> His name is Domingo. He lives right down here. So there's like a red roof that we could see from here. And then he's the White House at Blanca. Um, Casa Blanca. Uh, mm -hmm. But he said Casa Domingo. Uh, he's lived here his whole entire life. His family has lived here their whole entire life. So he said over like at least two to two to three hundred years his family's lived here. Mm -hmm. They invited us over to have some food. Not necessarily dinner. He basically said whenever you want. Come on over and we'll make you food. Wow. Yeah, very sweet of them. But like, you know, it's something so simple as like either helping push or help jump start somebody, you know? But this thing is a blessing. Okay, 
just time to see if it's gonna fit on the roof. You're a little monkey magician. Can you take this too? I think that's gonna have to be the spot. It's just a matter of like bolting it down and getting all the proper stuff for it. It is definitely smaller than the stuff that we have in the back over here, so we won't have to worry about the mount hitting anything when we're driving places. That was super scary. I felt like I was gonna drop it the whole time. On the line, we gotta figure this out. But this is the modem. I'm gonna plug it in right here. What's the smash mode? <laughs> Tell me. It's so exciting. <laughs> it's Paco's tooth. I love it. What did I tell you guys though? Ooh, I'm a ghost. I'm the ghost of bad internet past. Okay, Starlink is connecting. I gotta say that was good. <laughs> First connectivity test of our new Starlink system. It said that the obstacle <gasps> thing. Oh, Setup complete. Done. Let's see, do we have... Done. How do you log in now, though, I guess? Oh, buddy. It's okay. Every time one of those bangs go off, he gets so nervous. I don't know what to do. I personally think that we should kind of leave. Uh, this the area. whole area is going to be like this. Uh, Even that RV park over there said the same thing. It was like, be ready for loud dogs and banging all night from the church, you know? like Yeah, so bad for him. He doesn't normally get like this from... Like, we've been parked places okay, where... Papa. They literally are like letting off like guns next to us and he doesn't care. No. This is a brand new thing for him. Bad having fun. Oh, look, you're fully connected. I'm fully connected. Let's okay. See. Speed test. Okay, 80 to 90 to the 100, 117. We can be getting 50 megabytes per second anywhere we want. Think of all the That'd YouTube videos that we could deliver to you. I'm not connected. Now it says offline, no signal received. Clearly something is up with this, so we're gonna have to oh. fiddle. Oh, online. No, no. All right. And I think it's because uh, we have a tree in our way right now. Maybe, yeah. Like a big tree. Big tree. Our download speeds are 235 megabytes a second. Does that make you happy? Yeah, it makes me very happy. That's freaking wild. And look, it says SpaceX Starlink as the client. Or the, the connection. Wow, we're so 21st century. Yeah. All right, let's do some work. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta upload that video ASAP. Yes. It's another beautiful day here in Guanajuato. We are definitely loving the city and excited to spend a couple more days here. We're gonna spend these next couple days a little bit differently. Instead of street parking, we're gonna make our way over to the only RV park here in Guanajuato. But we're so happy that Paco's anxiety has calmed down. He seems very much cooler with the noises and the city, and we are so happy for that. It only took him two days. <laughs> we're also extremely happy about our Starlink setup. It's really helped us be able to upload videos and just get regular in-house type of service out here on the road. Click that subscribe button and watch this playlist right here to enjoy all of our adventures in Mexico with us. And whatever you're doing, make it an F and A day. This video wouldn't be possible without all of our Patreons, especially Ellen. Do not walk anymore, please. Hold on. Click this video right here for your next adventure.